You're not too young. You're not too young. You're not too young. Don't let anyone think less of you because you're young. Because you're young. Because you don't let anyone think less of you because you're young. Because you're young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, the way you live. Be an example to all believers in what you say, the way you live. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. Be an example. Be an example to all the believers. Yeah. Don't let anyone think less of you because you're young. Because you're young. Because you don't let anyone think less of you because you're young. Because you're young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, the way you live. Be an example to all believers in what you say, the way you live. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. Oh yeah. Let's dance. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. You are not too young. Yeah. Hello Rockets and Sprouts, my name is Pastor Shannon. What's your name? Uh, I only heard some of you. Everybody, what's your name? Aha, there we go. Hey, can we learn something together today? Yeah? Well, before we do, I need you to come over to my house. Would you like to come to my house? Okay, let's go. Whoa, ah, look at this, this is my house. Actually, it's not my house, I just got a picture off the internet, but pretend it's my house, okay? Now, I really love my house. It's special to me. I like to keep it nice. I like to look after it and, and you know, I've got to keep it clean and put away my toys and, and, and I like to invite my friends over. We like to have dinner together and sometimes we have a party and we dance, woo! But also, I feel safe in my house. My, safe, my house is a safe place where I can be myself and I can rest and sleep and relax at my house too. Now I have my family at my home and, and my house, it's my special place. You know what I'm talking about? I love my house. Thanks for visiting. Whoop. Now, did you know that church is called God's house? And because we're God's kids, we're God's family, that means it's our house too. In the Bible, there's a story about Jesus when he was a kid. His family got to go to a special big church party. But when the party had finished and it was time to go, Jesus' mummy and daddy couldn't find him. He was actually still at the church talking with his leaders and teachers about how amazing God is. And what was so amazing is that even though he was so young, Jesus loved being at church. He loved being involved and being a part of church, a part of God's house. You know, the things that I love about God's house? Well, in God's house, everyone is welcome. We're all different. You know, some of us have long hair. Some of us have short hair. Some of us have a beard. Any of you got a beard like me? We're all different, but Jesus brings us all together. In God's house, we have fun worshiping Jesus together. In God's house, we learn about Jesus and who he created us to be. In God's house, we all help to make it amazing. And in God's house, we're family and we look after each other. You know, just like at your home, when you help mommy or daddy, we can help at our kids' church because we're not too young, are we? Just like our Bible verse, it says, don't let anyone think less of you because you're young. But how? How can we help out at our church? Well, you could help your leaders or teachers by helping to clean up and, and keep the, the, the space nice and tidy and neat. Or you could help by listening when the teacher or when I'm speaking or helping others to listen. We can worship together. We can sing with all our hearts and lift our hands and give God our best. And we can help the other kids. Maybe they're doing a craft and it's a bit tricky, but you know how to do it. You can help them. Or maybe when a kid is, someone is new, they come for the first time. It's a bit scary, right? If you've never been here before, you can help be their friend. And we can also invite our friends to come along. 
maybe your friend from playgroup or daycare, they can come too. Because you know what? The Bible says in Psalm 84 that there's no better place to be than in God's house. Ha! So here is my big question for you. Can you love God's house? Yeah? Yeah? Can you help take care of God's house and bring others to God's house? Yeah? Awesome. You are not too young to love God's house. Let's pray together. Can you pray after me? Ready? Lord, I thank you that we can come to your house and know you more. Help us to love your house so much and to bring others to your house. In Jesus' name, amen. You're not too young to be found and love God's house. Bye. Check out this week's craft. Click on the link below for all you need to do it at home.